Hello and welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor and in this section we're going to teach you how to change the number of decimal places are displayed to you as you're doing your calculations in MATLAB. So it's a really short section but pretty important. So typically when you're doing your calculations the uh, default display that you're going to be dealing with if you do something like 55 divided by 7 is going to look like this 7 in this case 0.8571 it's going to basically be four digits after the decimal and pretty much um, let's see let's do 1051 divided by I don't know you know 12 pretty much whatever you type in here is going to be four digits displayed after the decimal. This is really, really good for most calculations when you're just trying to get a good feeling for what's going on. A few digits after the decimal is perfect, but there are times when you want to um, display more precision, more digits in as far as uh, the precision in your answer. And so let me clear the screen. The way you do that is by the format command. So uh, there's there's different things you can you can change different ways in which you can change the format of what's being displayed on the screen, um, but the, what we want to do is we want to change it to format long. Uh, so that just basically means you're going to get a longer number for all of your answers. So hit format space long and hit enter. Nothing's going to appear to change. But if I go back to one of those previous calculations by hitting the up arrow on the keyboard, so in this case 1051 divided by 12 then now I have a whole lot more decimals and if you count all these you'll you'll see there's 15 decimal uh, places after the decimal point so no matter what I do even if it's you know uh, 7 eighths I'm going to basically get a lot of padded zeros because this is an exact this is an exact decimal answer let's do something like one half you see what I'm talking about 0 0.5 it's going to pad the answer with as many decimals as needed to get to 15 um, now, of course, if you, you, you type in something like this up here, then you're going to get, you know, non-zero decimal spots here. Now, if you get tired of looking at this and you're like, OK, I did what I need, need to do. I'm going to go back to the other to the other uh, format, the shorter format. All you have to do is type format space short like this. MATLAB accepts it. And now if I go back and do one of my previous calculations, like one half, then it'll be 0.5 with just a few zeros for a total of four decimals. If I go back with the up arrow and hit one of my uh, other calculations, 1051 divided by 12, then I'll just get the 87.583. So format short, format long. That's all you need to remember. That's really very, very common. Now, one thing I want to point out to you is when you change the format with format short, format long, you're not really changing how MATLAB does the calculations. In other words, when I'm in the short format, you know, I only get an answer of 87.583. MATLAB still contains internally when it does the calculations the entire full precision of this of this math answer. So in other words, when it gets the answer, it gets the full answer, you know, in your calculations. It's just displaying fewer digits to you. So you don't have to worry so much about giving up precision in your actual calculations when you when you do format short and format long because MATLAB's using the full arithmetic to do all the math. It's just displaying more digits to you here, and it's displaying fewer digits uh, uh, there. So it's giving you more digits or less digits depending on what you want. Personally, I like to leave it in short format um, because it's just fine for me. But if you need more digits, then you just go to go to format long. Now let me also teach you about another format command, and that is format short ENG. ENG stands for engineering notation. So short ENG. So we go ahead and hit enter. Now if we do a calculation, let's do you know uh, eight divided by three. Let's see something we know we're going to get a decimal. Hit enter. Now the answer is not just a decimal; it's really in engineering notation or scientific notation. Um, well, engineering notation is a little bit different from scientific notation. I'll teach you what that is in just a second. But basically, you've got a decimal times 10 to the, in this case, to the power of zero, which is just going to give you one because this is a simple uh, guy here. But let's go up and do something like 2057 divided by, you know, I don't know, um, 12, something like that. Now, let's go ahead and do it smaller. Let's do divided by three. Now you can see in this case, the first computation, MATLAB gives us the decimal point after the first digit. Uh, in the next case, we get the decimal point after the third digit. And in the third case, we get the decimal after the third digit. So scientific notation is typically when you put the decimal after the first digit. What MATLAB's doing here is it's trying to give you an exponent 
that's going to either be 0, 3, 6, or 9. Let me give you a better example of that. Let's do um, 3 times 300, something like that. That gives you 900 times 10 to the 0. Let's do 3 times 500. Okay, so it jumps from 900 times 10 to the 0 up to 1.5 times 10 to the 3. And if we keep going up here, let's do 800. And we're going to get 2.4 times 10 to the 3. Let's do times 1500, like this. And let's just keep on going up to, let's say, 6,000, like this. 18 times 10 to the 3. And if we choose some really large numbers, let's do, you know, 1800 times 6. Uh, thousand, then what we're going to get is it's going to jump up to 10.8 times 10 to the 6. So no matter what calculations you type in, you're going to get a uh, you're going to get an answer that's going to be either times 10 to the 0, times 10 to the 3, times 10 to the 6. This is what we call engineering notation. It's it's doing it in multiples of 3 because that's basically the metric system. You know, times 10 to the 3 would basically be your kilometers times 10 to the 6 would be you know three more than that and so on so it just depends on what you need now if you need if you need um, even more precision than what you're seeing on the screen there you can do format ENG I should say long ENG instead of short ENG it's long ENG now let's do the same calculation 1800 times 6000 then we'll just get more decimal places a better example might be something like um, you know, eight divided by you know let's just type let's just divide it by a very large number like this. So we're going to get a super small answer, and so we're going to get is 152.51 blah 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 times 10 to the minus 12. So it goes the other the other direction as well. You're getting multiples of three, so you're going to get 10 to the minus three, 10 to the minus six, 10 to the minus nine, or 10 to the minus 12. So it's not really scientific notation; it's engineering notation. The exponents are going to basically be a multiple of three. Okay, now I'd like to show you one more uh, format command that might come in handy for you, and that is format short e. I do not know why they call it short e, but this is basically scientific notation, typically what we call scientific notation. Um, and so let me show you what that is, format short e. So let it accept this, and the best way to show you this is just type in something like 5.2365 you know, times one. We all know that's going to be 5.2365, so we hit enter, you get 5.2365 times 10 to the zero. If we recall that and multiply times 10, then we're going to get 5.2365 times 10 to the one, multiplied by 100, it'll be times 10 to the two, multiplied by 1,000, it'll be times 10 to the three, um, add another zero, it'll be times 10 to the 4 and so on. So we can just keep adding zeros and we'll continue uh, ratcheting up the uh, scientific notation. If we take this guy and we divide, let's say, by you know, 5, 6, 8, 5, 4, decimal 3, 5, let's say, then we'll get times 10 to the minus 5. So you can see right here that all of the exponents that we're getting on the power of 10, it's not really locked into 0, 3, 6, or 9. It's giving us whatever exponent necessary, and it's keeping the uh, decimal point after the first digit. That's, that's really scientific notation when that's what's going on, uh, when it'll just put the decimal point after the first digit and then give you whatever exponent falls out. Now you can do format uh, long e, like this, instead of short e, long e. And if we recall some of these calculations, it's going to be exactly the same thing. It's just we're going to get more digits, and then we're going to get our exponent. So we'll just do some of these other guys just to refresh our memory on what we can get here. So it's the same kind of things we were getting before, same exponents, just more digits. So to recap, let me clear the screen. You can do format short, okay? And that's going to give you, you know, 5 divided by 9, let's say. That's going to give you basically four digits after the decimal point format long that's basically going to give you the same calculation but with you know uh, 15 digits after the uh, after the decimal point we can do format short ENG for short engineering when we do calculations like this basically we're going to get a number the decimal point is going to be put wherever it needs to go to give us an exponent that's a multiple of three so zero three six nine zero negative three negative six negative nine and so on we can do format long ENG and that's going to basically do the same thing as before it's going to be engineering notation but it's going to give us more precision more decimal places after the decimal point we can do format short E 
and this guy is basically going to put the decimal point always after the first digit and then the exponent's going to fall out where it is. That's just scientific notation. And then we can do format long e and that's basically scientific notation uh, but we're just getting more decimals. That pretty much covers most of, most of the common things that you might want to change in your display format. But in all of these cases, don't forget MATLAB is doing all the internal computations to its maximum internal precision. What we're doing here is just how we display it, how we choose to look at it. Some people love to look at all this stuff. Some people really don't like a cluttered screen, so it's really up to you. Final thing I'm going to say is, uh, if you go in the Help menu, which you can go either in Help, or in this case, let's go here, type in format then you'll see the format command here hover your mouse and you can get a lot more information there's other uh, information you might want to read in here one day if you forget some of these commands format short format long is in here short e and long e is in here it's telling you exactly what it's doing as far as the display goes uh, there's something called short g and long g you can read about it if you think you, you might you might need that one day. Short engineering, long engineering, we've already talked about. And then there's some other little switches and things. There's hexadecimal, there's compact, there's loose. There's very, you know, those things are not really used so much, so I don't go over everything. But the fact that you know it's in the help, you know it's available, maybe you can't remember the exact command, but you remember, oh yeah, we learned about that. Let me go and help and figure it out. And then you can kind of get comfortable with the system that way. So pull it out, play with the different, the different calculations and the different display formats, and I think you'll find that it's not too different from a regular scientific calculator. Um, and depending on what you're doing, it can be really handy for you to change these formats.